So, pleasant day to all of you, my dear STEM student. I am Sir Jean, your teacher for today. So, for today, we'll be discussing all about balancing chemical equation. Okay. So, what is a balanced chemical equation? A balanced chemical reaction shows the correct mole relationship among the reactants and products. And this pertains to the stoichiometric coefficient that we'll be using when we balance an ordinary chemical equation. Okay, so these are the different symbols used in balancing chemical equations. So, basahin nyo na lang siya. So, ayan naman yung mga description. So, we have here the plus sign, the arrow sign, the SLG, AQ symbol. So, these are the different symbols used in balancing chemical equation. So, in balancing chemical reaction, there are two parts in a chemical uh, reaction. Namely, the reactants. Okay, so the reactants. <clears throat> this, are, this, this is the part of a chemical equation that are found at the left side <clears throat> of the reaction. Okay, and then the other one is the products. Okay, so the products are located at the right side of the equation. So this is an example of a complete balanced chemical equation. <clears throat> let, let us have some exercises. So, for example, you have phosphorus atom reacts with oxygen gas to produce diphosphorus trioxide. So, in balance by inspection, you will look at the subscript of the different species present in the reactant and product side. So, as you can see, we have here four atoms of phosphorus, two atoms of oxygen in the reactant side, while in the product side, there are two phosphorus atom and three oxygen atom. Obviously, the number, the subscript or the number of atoms found at the reactant and product side are not balanced. So, how do we balance chemical equation? So, we balance chemical equation by putting a uh, numerical coefficient before the symbol of the element. A, before the symbol of the element or before the symbol of the compound. So, pag nagbabalance tayo, uh, wag munang masyadong malaki yung inyong nilalagay na numerical coefficient. Kasi, pag malaki kasi, at later on, i-reduce nyo rin siya. So, oh, let us start balancing. So, we have here 4 phosphorus, 2 phosphorus. So, both even number. 2 oxygen in the reactant side and 3 oxygen on the product side. So, kapag meron kayo nakikita 2 and 3, even and odd number, ito na kagad yung unahin nyo para mas madali. Okay? So, you will add 2 here. So, pag naglagay kayo ng coefficient before the symbol of this compound, so, lahat ng, lahat ng subscript mababago. Kasi you will multiply this by 2. 2 times 2 this will become 4. Okay? 2 times 3, this will become 6. Oxygen atom will become 6. So, paano mo ito gagawing 6? Okay? So, you will also add 3 para 3 times 2, that is 6. So, oxygen atom in the reactant and product side here are already balanced. So, let us check. So, in your reactant side, there are, phos there are 4 phosphorus atom. Okay? In your product, 2 times 2, so 4 then. Gating sa inyo reactant, 3 times 2, meron kayong 6 oxygen atom. While in your products, you also have 6 oxygen atom. 2 times 3. So, ganyan yung kadali. Okay, next. <coughs> so, magnesium fluoride reacts with lithium carbonate to produce magnesium carbonate and lithium fluoride. So, tingnan natin. So, medyo complicated na siya pero dahil madami na yung mga atoms na binabalance. So, start with the obvious. So, ang magnesium dito is 1. Mark 1 din naman dito. Fluorine has two subscript in your reactant side. While in your product side, wala. So, maglagay na kagad kayo ng 2. Okay? So, 2 times 1. So, 2. So, balance kagad yung fluorine. And the problem is, sa product side, meron kayong lithium na naging 2 rin, yung number of atoms. So, balik kayo dun sa reactant. So, as you can see, may 2 na kagad dito. So, this reaction is already balanced. Let us check. So, magnesium is 1. Magnesium is 1 in the product side. Fluorine is 2. 
Florin needs two, two times, one, two na rin siya sa product. Kay lithium is two in the reactant, two times, one sa product. Ang lithium niyo is two na rin. The next, carbon is one. Okay? Sa product side, carbon is also one. Oxygen. So, in your reactant side, the number of oxygen atom is three. Okay? In your product, it is also three. So, this equation is already balanced. Okay, next example. So, before we proceed to the next example, this is how you read a complete balanced chemical equation. So, you will read this as 1 mole of magnesium fluoride reacts with 1 mole of lithium carbonate to produce 1 mole of magnesium carbonate and 2 moles of lithium fluoride. This is how you read a balanced chemical equation. The coefficient is uh, read as mole. Okay? So, for our next example, sodium phosphate reacts with potassium hydroxide to produce sodium hydroxide and potassium phosphate. So, based on this equation, so let us start with the obvious. Okay? So, potassium here is 3. Ang sodium din doon ay 3. This is 1. So, ano ang gagawin natin? You add na kagad 3 sa sodium. Okay? Para maging 3 na din. Okay? So, sodium atom is already balanced. But the problem is, yung sodium atom nyo dito, may kasama siyang oxygen and hydrogen. Take note, once you add numerical coefficient before the symbol of the compound, damay yung ibang ano damay yung ibang elements doon sa chemical formula non so this will become 3 sodium atom tapos 3 times 1 your oxygen here is 3 plus 4 this will become 7 so your oxygen atom is 7 okay yung hydrogen yun naman naging 3 din okay so dun sa next product natin you have here 3 potassium atom. So, doon 1. So, maglagay na rin kayo doon ng 3. So, let us check if both the atoms of the reactants and products are equal. So, in so in the reactant side, you already have 3 uh, sodium atom in the product. 3 times 1. So, this is the product side. You already have 3 oxygen atom. Phosphorus. So, phosphorus in the reactant side is 1. Then, phosphorus in the product side is also 1. So, balance na yan. Oxygen. Your oxygen in your reactant side is 4 plus 3 times 1. That is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. So, pagating dito, 3 plus 4, 7 also. Okay? So, pagdating kay potassium, your potassium in the reactant is 3 times 1. Potassium is 3. So, in your product, it's already 3. Okay? So, hydrogen. Your hydrogen in the reactant side is 3. Okay? So, dinidistribute lang natin ha, parang sa math. Okay? So, 3 times 1, 3 times 1, 3 times 1. Okay? So, distributive property lang yung ginagamit natin. And then, in your product side, hydrogen is already 3. So, this equation is already balanced. Okay? So, we read this as 1 mole of sodium phosphate reacts with 3 moles of potassium hydroxide to produce 3 moles of sodium hydroxide and 1 mole of potassium phosphate. Okay? So, let's have this next example. So, rubidium nitrate reacts with beryllium fluoride to produce beryllium nitrate and rubidium fluoride. So, as you can see, based on this particular example, uh, there is a substance or a compound uh, with symbols that has this parenthesis. So, in mathematics, kapag may parenthesis tapos may number sa labas, ibig sabihin to compute for the number of atoms, this is distributive property also. So, the number of oxygen atom in this particular compound is 6. Kasi 3 times 2, this is 6. And then, nitrogen is 2. So, para maging balance na kagad, so check nyo na kagad yung ka-partner niya doon sa reactant side. Siyempre, pag sinicheck nyo ang, ang chemical reaction, titignan nyo kagad 
kung lahat ba ng atoms sa reactant and product side are the same, hindi pwede hindi, hindi sila magkapareho kasi it conforms to the law of conservation of mass. Okay? So, kailangan ko ano yung atoms na nandun sa reactant, yun din yung atoms na nandun sa product. So, check na kagad natin yung nitrogen tsaka oxygen. So, in the product side, the number of oxygen atom is 3 times 2, this will become 6. And then, nitrogen 1 times 2, this will become 2. 2 nitrogen atom, 6 oxygen atom. But in your reactant side, the number of atoms is, na of nitrogen is 1 while oxygen is 3. So, ito na kagad yung uunahin nyo kasi ito yung obviously hindi balance. So, maglalagay na kayo kagad dyan ng 2. Okay? So, naging 2 na yan. Your nitrogen in the reactant side is 2. Okay? 2 na rin doon sa product. And then, your oxygen is 6. 2 times 3, 6 na rin. But the problem is, dun sa rubidium nitrate, may kasamang rubidium. So, pupunta naman kayo doon sa product. Okay? So, yung product nyo is rubidium fluoride. So, rubidium here is uh, one atom. So, to, in order to balance this one, you add the two coefficient in front of the compound rubidium fluoride. So, let us check the reactant and product. So, in the reactant side, your rubidium is two. Rubidium is two in the product also. And then, nitrogen, two times one. Okay, two in the product. So then, the next is oxygen. Your oxygen is 2 times 3. This will become 6. So, product side, 6 then. And then, next atom is beryllium. Your beryllium has 1 atom of beryllium in the reactant. So, in the product is also 1. Okay? So, in the fluorine, fluorine is 2 in the reactant. And then, in the product, your fluorine is 2. Okay? So, that is very easy. Okay, so that is 2 moles of rubidium nitrate reacts with 1 mole of beryllium fluoride to produce beryllium nitrate, 1 mole of beryllium nitrate, and 2 moles of rubidium fluoride. Okay, so in this next example, we have here the combustion reaction. When we talk about combustion reaction, we are dealing with hydrocarbons. Ang example niyan usually is our natural gases like methane, pentane, uh, propane. So those are examples of natural gases. Okay, so we have here complete combustion. So this is an example of a complete combustion. How will you know if this is incomplete or complete combustion? So we have here hydrocarbon octane C8H18 of, reacts with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide in water. So this is your indicator that the given chemical reaction is a complete combustion. The products are carbon dioxide and water. Okay? So in balancing this particular reaction, uh, you balance first carbon and hydrogen and then later on na yung oxygen. Okay? So let us check. So in your reactant side, you have 8 carbon atom. So, maglagay na kagad kayo ng carbon doon. So, balance na kagad si carbon sa reactant and then the product. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng 9 to balance hydrogen in the product side. 9 times 2 is 18. So, 18 na yan. So, pag in niyan, carbon is 8, hydrogen is 18. Okay. So, but the problem, the compound carbon dioxide has this oxygen atom. So, ibig sabihin, pag naglagay kayo dito ng 8, gay kayo ng 8 na yan, carried yan dito. So, 8 times 2, this will become 16. And the other one is 9 times 1. So, all in all, you have 16 oxygen, that is 25. So, you have 25 oxygen in your product side. But you only have 2 oxygen in your reactant side. So, paano mo gagawing 25 oxygen yung reactant ng oxygen? So, ang gagawin dyan trick, you will divide this by 2. Okay? So, that is 12.5. So, you can use 12.5. 
Pero, uh, although na-acceptable siya minsan, pero mas maganda kasi that the coefficient is whole number. Stoichiometrically wise, para kapag nag-compute kayo, puro siya whole number. Okay? So, pag minultiply, uh, para maging whole number to, you will multiply the whole equation by 2. Okay? So, distributive, kasi nagkaroon tayo ng bracket dito. So, didistribute nyo lang yan. 2 times 1, that is 2 moles of octane, reacts with 2 times 12.5, that is 25 oxygen atom. Okay? To produce, okay, 2 times 8, that is 16 carbon dioxide, and 9 times 2, and that will become 18 moles of water. So, if you're going to check, okay, so 16 times 2, that is, so check nyan, that is 32 plus 18, and then you will have 50. Okay, 25 times 2, that is 50. So, if you're going to check carbon atom, okay, so 2 times 8, that is 16, and then 2 times 18, 18 times 2. So, the reaction is balance. Okay? Next. So, let us discuss naman incomplete. So, uh, in contrast with the complete combustion, incomplete combustion, ang product naman niya, kung sa complete combustion, the product is carbon dioxide and water. In the incomplete combustion, your product is carbon monoxide and water. So, same procedure din ang ginagamit natin. Okay, you balance first carbon and then later on yung oxygen. So, balance yung muna siya. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, so nabalance yun na, we have 17 oxygen atom in the reactant. Paano magiging 17 ito? So, gagawin natin siyang decimal number. So, it 8.5. And then, you will multiply the whole equation by 2 to make it whole number. So, your final balance equation will become 2 moles of octane reacts with 17 moles of oxygen gas to produce 16 carbon monoxide and 18 moles of water. This is how you balance combustion reaction. Okay? So, that is the... So, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel para mapanood nyo siya ng paulit-ulit. Okay, thank you.